So, I was talking with my fiance a little bit earlier tonight, today, depending on when you're watching this. As of this recording, it's tonight. But, one of the things that we spoke of, well, it's sad. But I've noticed that some places in the world, family is treated as if something it shouldn't be, in my eyes. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. This is a very sensitive topic, and from what I introduce in the video, you guys already know what I'm going to be talking about. If it's something you don't like, a topic you don't like, please do not watch this video. I have mean no harms towards anybody's beliefs or anything like that, but I'm giving my own opinions on the matter. So if it's something you may not enjoy watching, please click away from this video, that way there's no harm done. Still here? Cool. You have been warned, so if you're still here, please leave hate out of the comments. But family, it's kind of sad how far a stereotype takes people's beliefs. And I've said this before, but family is a big, big concept in this factor. For a good, a good example of this is... Well... The stereotype where it's not a family if there's no frustrated arguments involved in the parental relationship. It's not a relationship if there are no arguments, ever. But a lot of the world, a lot of the world, proves this statement to be BS. I should probably point out, every stereotype that is heard that is really well known comes from the south of the US. What I mean by the South are specific states. If we're talking about direction, it's technically, directionally, it's the Southeast. Sorry, Southeast. I keep forgetting my camera's reversed. But the Southeast of the United States is what's called, in the U.S., the South. I know, it's a little bit weird. But it is the case nonetheless. The South creates all these stereotypes because for some reason somebody believed it to be the case and now so many people believe it to the point where it's just... It's sad. But these beliefs about families having riots, meaning it's a proper family, it's proven to be wrong so many times. It's... I don't even know what to say to the circumstance. But... The truth of the matter is that Let's start from the first point of it. Point one. It's not a real family or relationship if there are no arguments as in anger or frustration. Proven wrong off the bat. Amber and I have never been in a single argument. Now we've had some conflicts, but that's not the same thing. Conflict as in problems arising. Now, I never said these conflicts were hurt against me or vice versa. Because these conflicts I'm talking about, situations, problems, but these conflicts were resolved with the two of us together. We are so confident that this is going to continue, and it hasn't been proven wrong yet, never will be in my opinion, to the point where we are willing to wait a year, over a year, for our wedding. And we know for a fact that nothing will change that. We'll get to that point, and we will be happy as a lock. Because we know... that we would have gotten stronger by then. Not by arguing, not by throwing things at each other, not by getting mad at one another for who knows why, 
but by talking things over, calmly, genuinely, discussing matters. If we were to talk about something where she has one idea, but I have a different one, rather than yelling at each other, we would lay out the ideas and go, well, why do you think this? And we would lay out our reasons and come to a binding conclusion. Not all people are this way. And I understand that. I'm not hating or saying those who are going down the path of arguments are the right way to go. I'm not saying they're wrong or saying, sh I'm not shunning the idea. What I'm doing personally is saying how I disagree with the idea of that working. But that doesn't particularly mean I'm arguing of what they're doing should stop because it's their own their way, own way of life. My way is what I just listed, and it's worked beautifully for me. And I mean, not gonna lie, quite a few of the relationships I've had, whether in the past or currently, is not to be said. I have hit the points where the significant other has said that they don't think it's going to work because of the fact that there are no arguments. Well, who says there needs to be arguments for something to be healthy? That's like saying, either way, it, it's a weird comparison, but it does work, and it has worked, all those of the past, who I've discussed this with. That's like saying, if you were to throw a healthy diet into your body and start punching yourself, it, 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 like, it's like saying, hey, I need to take care of my body, let me go on a diet. You have that diet and all of a sudden you should be expecting your body to just dejectedly destroy itself because you're going on a diet that takes care of you. Tell me how that makes sense. It doesn't, right? Well, that's my point. How a healthy relationship goes in my eyes, if I'm being honest, if I'm going to be a bit more discreet, comes from my parents. A family, healthy family, was shown to me by them and my siblings. Four of the most caring and loving people on this planet that I've known my whole life. I'm not including Amber because... I haven't known her my whole life. <laughs> I wish. But the four people who I have known since the beginning, for me at least, all of them have treated me respect, love, care, gentleness. There have been some things that they've said behind my back, but I take that as when I find out about it finally, it's at a good time. At the moment, I get why they would. And yes, it's not the best thing to do, but by the time I find out, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll take that into consideration and better myself. Now, it doesn't always happen. I don't always end with the result of bettering myself. There's always conflict, and some of it, admittedly, is, had been caused by me. But I have admitted my faults. I'm doing my best to make amends with those things. Some things I still have to better myself with. But that is me at fault. That is me going, I'm making things worse. What can I do to better it? That's the way a family should be in my mind. And that's what my parents and my siblings have shown me. My sister, my brother and I have never gotten into what's considered the stereotype of a sibling rivalry. That does not exist in our family. The closest we've come is maybe like small little disagreements. But never have we ever argued to the point where those sibling rivalries show. There's never been a fist fight. We don't throw things at each other. There's never been a cat fight, in the case of my sister. Only verbal arguments to a very specific degree. 
only when we were kids. Once we all grew out of that time era, we never argued. Not once. We didn't always agree on things, but rather than arguing, we just parted ways. Simple as that. As for my parents, I have never heard them argue once in their life. Well, my life. <laughs> Now, I have said this to other people, and they've gone, nah, they're probably trying to hide it, but here's the problem with that statement. I have... I was born the year after they got married. It's like my mom got pregnant with me, like, right after they got married, so I'm like, oh, okay. But... That being said... Every single day of my life, I have not heard my dad yell at my mom, or vice versa, once. I have never heard them yell in anger. At all. Unless it's a business thing for my dad. Or one time when my mom got angry with me. Not because of an instant reaction. But because I personally kept pushing her to the point she could not handle. And that is my, that I am for fault on that one. But that was literally one time. Of the 27 years I've been alive, that was literally one time. And I was to blame for it. Not my mom, not my dad, me. And they have been frustrated with me multiple times before. All for me to blame, of course. But were they ever yelling at me or getting angry? They were very calm, vocally, even if they were frustrated or disappointed, vocally, they were very calm with me. That's something I look up to, something that I see a family as, a relationship as. I can't pinpoint a one time where I've yelled at Amber, or the reverse. She's never gotten, oops, let's ignore that. She's never gotten angry at me. I've never gotten angry at her, there's never been any yelling, and there never will be. Even once kids are involved, whatever that might be, I will never yell at my children. I'll get stern with them, but I will never yell. Ever. Especially while they're in their younger years. Kids don't understand. And that's something I get. A family should not be treated in a sense where there are paddle beatings or belt whips or extreme yelling to the point where sometimes they're swearing. It doesn't make sense to me. First of all, the beatings? Absolutely not anyway. I will never beat my child. I mean, I might spank them like in the butt once or something harder than that of course I mean they're a child I don't want to hurt them depending on how young they are too or how old they are if they're old enough then maybe but it would be like a once but that's still on the line of maybe the definite point is stern vocally because that's how I've always seen a family family vocally discusses things, not argues, not gets frustrated at each other, discusses. Because what? What's the point of raising a family if all you're going to do is cause them to degrade? Neurological fact, while we're talking about this. And I studied this. I don't remember the exact terminology, but the earlier years, if you are to do this to a child, the child is going through the mindset of trust, mistrust, join, lose, that kind of thing. If you are going to treat a child with the circumstances that you shouldn't, their brain is going to go off mistrust and they're going to be like, okay, so I can't trust anybody. Based off what they see from parents. Now, some parents want this, because some parents believe it'll mean they'll stay with them, or some parents believe 
They're not ready for the world, so they'll prep them in that sense. But the problem with this, once you put them in that mindset, it is extremely hard to get them out of that. That's why I'll never do that to a child of mine. Ever. I'll never allow that to happen to a child of mine. Ever. But, I get the fact that some people don't, don't think the same way I do, which is fine. I don't shun anybody who thinks otherwise, I just don't agree. These are my thoughts on how a family should be. Calm, collected, discussive, without anger. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Tell me how I am wrong if you really want to, but please try to keep it calm and collected. We are a family here after all, every 156 as of this video. Big thank you to all of you who have stayed with me throughout the past four years now, I think, actually. I think as of this video's upload, it has been four years. So thank you guys so much for joining me. You won't see all the videos on this channel from four years ago, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But I digress. As I said, I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys want to check out any other discussion rant videos of mine, click links on this. The click the, this link over here, or if you want to check out a video that I talk about some aspects about myself specifically, this site might do you justice. Want to check any more live stuff, whether funny or daily livey, I guess, or some comedic or first time reaction videos for gaming stuff, check out the channel itself, because one of each type is always well planned. I started that, did not mean to, to be uploaded every day. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much once again for watching this video, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.